I'm Callum and this is an AirTag, a quintessentially Apple product that marks a whole new era for the company. We're going to talk about what the AirTag is, review it alongside that, and then talk about why this is the start of the Find My revolution. So, no more chatting, let's just get into it. Long story short, it's a location tracker. You put an AirTag onto something you want to keep safe, and if you lose that thing with the AirTag attached, you can find it. Pretty simple. Uh, it's about the size of a coat button. That's about three centimeters by three centimeters. And it's basically small enough to fit inside a pocket or a little compartment, but a little bit too thick to go inside, say, a slimline wallet, which is a bit of a shame. It weighs 11 grams, which is about the same as a AAA battery and is IP67 certified. What that means in the real world is it can survive for up to one meter in fresh water. That's important for up to 30 minutes. Somewhat surprisingly, it actually doesn't cost too much. It starts at 29 for one or 99 for a pack of four. But here we bump into one of the first issues with the device. To use it properly, you need a key ring or some similar attachment. Yes, there is no hole on the device, despite it being entirely possible for such a thing to have happened. What this means is you need to shell out some cash to Apple or a third party in order to actually just have the AirTag in a safe place. In a typical Apple move, the cheapest of their AirTag attachment accessories start at, yes, $30, but Soon, even now probably, you can get third-party versions of this for substantially cheaper. It's very Apple. It fits in with the company's aesthetics. It's sleek, well-designed. You can get engraving or emojis put on the back of it, but we bump into some issues too. Firstly, there is only one current color option. That is the white you see here, but expect for the AirTag 2 for more colors to be available. You heard it here first. Next up, we have the silver side. I've only been using it for a short amount of time and already it's like pretty scuffed. I can guarantee in several months time, it is gonna be borderline ugly and unrecognizable. Also in a strangely un-Apple move, you can replace the battery, which lasts for a year. Like what is happening? Although maybe this is just a fancy business strategy where the silver side gets so scuffed up after a year's passed, you just wanna buy a new one. Who knows? First off, the setup was miraculous. It was really a magnificent experience. You just take it out of the packaging, pull a little bit of plastic from the air tag, hold it next to your phone, and it walks you through the whole process and then connects it to your Apple account. Ugh, I wanna buy some more just to go through that whole experience again. The AirTag actually works with the Find My network alongside a Bluetooth Low Energy and ultra wide band chip. The best way to describe this is to talk about how you can actually find your missing item that has an AirTag attached. First is you can ping it to make a chiming sound, something you can do on the Find My app or through Siri. Find Callum's keys. This is pretty useful and like damn cool to be perfectly honest, but I wish the chiming sound was a little bit louder and that I could use Siri on the Apple Watch in order to find my AirTag. Second is using the precision finding feature which uses the U1 chip in your phone. You can find a list of compatible devices here. Long story short, this is kind of the flagship feature of the AirTag and it is really Cool. It takes you on a little scavenger hunt to find your missing air tag and item, and I have had such fun trying it out. It's not perfect, it struggles in like large locations, but once you've locked on, you're golden. The third way, and this is the big one, is using Apple's Find My Network. Now, the figure the company has thrown around in all its marketing materials is there are up to a billion Apple devices out there in the market. And every time your AirTag comes close to one, it's tracked, you're notified, and your AirTag appears on your map. Just a note here, this is all encrypted and any of the devices your AirTag goes past, they have no idea where you are. It's kind of a mesh network in which you are completely private. 
This works pretty well and gets you in the rough vicinity of the object like pretty accurately and pretty quickly. And we'll talk about how these three features all come together to help you find your Airtag or item soon. But before then, we need to talk about something really important. A big criticism of the AirTag we need to take really seriously is how easily it can be used to track people against their will. A few points before we start though. There are a manner of ways that people can take advantage of modern technology such as that that exists in phones or other trackers like Tile to follow people against their will. This is not a specific Apple problem. This is a problem with the technology itself. But we need to acknowledge that because of the size of Apple and the scale of the Find My network, there is an unbelievably huge potential here for the AirTag technology to be abused. Now the company isn't blind to this and has taken preemptive action. The most well known of these is if you have an AirTag close to you that isn't yours, you will get notified on your iPhone. Thing is, it's not clear how long this takes. When I tried it out, I didn't get notified at all. And I can only imagine it's even worse on Android. I'm sure this is a software issue that can be fixed and Apple will do so, but it is slightly worrying just considering the scale and potential of abuse of the AirTag technology. I do believe the company can and will fix this, but it will be a little while before the balance is sorted. All I can say is this isn't a reason not to buy the AirTag. Instead, it's a two-pronged issue. One is something that we need to all be aware of to stop it happening. And secondly, we need to put pressure on Apple in order to make it as safe as possible. If we go down this world, almost any bit of technology can be abused, but that doesn't mean we should be vigilant in stopping it. Make sense? A bit of a strange seed there into this section, but I think it was something vital to consider. So to answer the question, should we all go out and buy air tags? Friends, I, I honestly do not know. I'm still not entirely sure what the point of the AirTag is. Yes, if you lose your keys constantly in your house, then I think, hell yeah, go out and get yourself an AirTag. But for anything else, I'm slightly more on the fence about. Say for example, theft. If someone takes your bag that has an AirTag attached, most likely they're just gonna grab the stuff from it or find the AirTag and chuck it away. Let's think back to earlier in the video when we talked about the three ways you have of finding your missing AirTag. Now, if your item is lost, you would most likely see it with the Find My Network. But the problem with this is it only shows you roughly the area that your AirTag is in. Often, this is too big of a space for your phone to easily connect to the AirTag to play a chime or use the precision finding feature. To enlighten that example, let's imagine that you've lost your keys in a shopping center. You'll be able to narrow it down to a couple of stores, but actually finding it is gonna be tougher, mainly because of the distance. You'll have to walk around with your phone out, hoping that the AirTag will connect to Bluetooth and you can play a sound or use the precision finding feature. Effectively, what I'm saying is there is a big range difference between the Find My accuracy and how close you have to be to the AirTag for it to come up on your phone. Of course, if someone finds the AirTag, then there is actually quite an easy way to contact you. But in this instance, it's gonna be pretty tricky to find it yourself. I think the AirTag is a cool, exciting, fresh new gadget done specifically in a very Apple-esque way, but it is flawed. For me, the future of the device really is adding GPS in it so it can help bridge that gap between the Find My network and the distance you need in order to get into Bluetooth range. But for that to happen, we have to bump into a whole load of issues, which include not only technological issues, but further problems with tracking and privacy. Okay, strap in because I'd like to talk about the release of the AirTags from another perspective, specifically why Apple have put them out, why they put them out at this moment, and how this is ushering in a new era for the company's services. A little context first, which ties this together, is I'd like to talk about my previous experience with the Find My app. Basically, it kind of sucks. 
I've had multiple Apple devices stolen in the past and when you have things like AirPods in there, it doesn't really work. The only way they can play a sound if, to find them if they're lost is with the cases open or a bud is out. Not very useful. The reason I bring this up is simple because AirTags are the first find my item that works well. Let's try and understand why this is important a little bit more. We can answer the first bit of that question here, why has Apple released AirTags in the simplest way? It has done so in order to make more money and increase its stock price. That's why it does everything, of course, but I think to understand this movement, we need to look at the second part of the question and specifically, why has Apple done this now? Well, in my mind, that falls to two main elements. That is technology and privacy. Let's look at the first of these, technology. Something that's cropped up in the release of the AirTags has been the fact that they've seemingly been ready for about two years. There are a few theories about why this is the case. One of the ones that's thrown out everywhere is because Apple wanted to make sure it wasn't being anti-competitive with Tile, but I think there's a simpler, more baseline reason for it. In my mind, it's all about the available technology. Not only will the world have moved on in general terms when it comes to things like power consumption, we've also got the fact that the U1 chip was only released in 2019 with the iPhone 11. By Apple waiting two years, it can ensure that lots of people have an iPhone 11 or iPhone 12, and it makes the AirTags actually useful. But here comes the second and arguably most important part, privacy. We've already spoken how AirTags are found using the Find My network, which is a connection of over a billion Apple devices. I genuinely believe that if this feature was released a few years ago, there would have been an uproar. Apple would have been criticized for taking advantage of its users' privacy, but it's done something very clever over the past year or two. What it's done in that time is turn privacy into a product. It's really doubled down on app tracking, on user safety, and that's changed the whole tone of the debate. Effectively, these two things combined, the available technology and Apple's privacy push, made it the ideal time for the company to release AirTags and kick off the Find My revolution. Revolution might sound a bit fancier, more radical than it actually is, but I think all this reveals a very key truth. In the coming years, almost every new Apple product will have a variant of the AirTag in it. For example, it's not hard to imagine at all that the next several generations of AirPods or the new Siri remote have a tracking feature in it that allows you to easily find it or ping it from your phone or Apple device. In my mind, it's not a matter of if, it is a matter of when. The reason for doing this is clear. It will make people buy more Apple shit. Whether that is the excitement of the feature or the fact that it will be way harder to steal Apple gear and then sell it on because it'll be all connected in the Find My network. Or in fact, it just gives people an easy reason to upgrade. It's gonna work. Apple will end up selling a huge, huge array of gear with this AirTag tracking in it. But what I find most interesting with the AirTags and this burgeoning Find My Revolution is how the company is managing us to look at its products differently. One of the things that everyone in the Apple sphere talks about is the idea of an ecosystem. Let's put that in real terms. It's the thought that if you have something like the aforementioned AirPods, they are far easier to connect between different Apple devices than any other headphone you can use. Effectively, they're sold on integration into your own personal Apple gear. AirTags, on the other hand, their selling point is all the other Apple devices out there in the world. That's a subtle but important shift, one where we're no longer in our personal walled gardens, but we all exist in a walled garden world. Now, it's tricky to ascertain exactly what features and new products Apple is going to release into this brave new Find My World, but you can be certain of one thing, they are gonna sell them and they are gonna sell them hard. And it's really difficult to complain sometimes when so many of Apple's products are so damn good. If you enjoyed this video, fantastic. Please smash that like button and subscribe to our channel. We've also got a link at the top. It should be the very pinned comment where you'll be able to subscribe to our newsletter. Do that, you're gonna love it. Oh, and who could forget, if you go into the description, you'll find a full article where we talk about the air tags and some of the issues we've discussed today in more detail. Until next time, au revoir.